Okay, so here's my attempt at fake butter chicken. So I have the Guardian brand of the um, chicken fingers, which I really, I really do love this brand. They, they're fine just like they are. You don't have to do anything with them except for cook them. Um, but I'm going to use this for my, um, for my butter chicken. Um, but these, this is a chipotle lime. And so that's going to add a little bit of flavor to the butter chicken. And they cook up really well either in a frying pan with a little bit of coconut oil or in the oven. They're magnificent all on their own. But anyway, that's going to be my chicken base. Okay, so I'll put that in there. I'm just going to let that thaw a little bit because they do come frozen. <clears throat> and I'm going to make my cashew uh, butter here from scratch. So I have about a third a cup of cashews. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Just enough for them to mix and throw them in my Vitamix here because <clears throat> I didn't buy any cashew butter. Uh, if you had some, you'd use it, but I didn't, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, hang on. Close your ears. <laughs> The thing with the Vitamix, it doesn't take long. It doesn't matter what you're, what you're doing. Um, it comes out pretty fast. So there's my cashew. And I didn't make it super smooth because it's really good if it's, um, you know, as you can see, if it's a little bit lumpy, then you've got some nuts in there, which is really delicious as well. So I have my frying pan here with a little bit of water on high heat. If you put things on high heat, uh, it cooks much faster, and you just have to make sure that you don't let it burn, so you want to make sure there's a little bit of water in the bottom. And so we're just going to try and get all that cashew butter in there, or actually cashews and water in this case. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to add a little bit of um, soy sauce, just about... I don't want it too salty. This is a tamari, a naturally fermented soy sauce, so that's about one tablespoon. Also going to add the juice, the juice of a small lemon, and you could use lime if you want to. Some people say it's better. Okay, so there's the squeezed lemon. Going to add a little bit of the. Um, Got the cashew all over me. A little bit of chili flakes, probably half a teaspoon chili flakes. I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of maple syrup. I think the original recipe calls for brown sugar, but um, I'd rather use maple syrup. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a little stir here. I think you can see it's coming along nicely. Okay, I know with some of the buttered chicken, it's it's um I don't know if it's orangier, and I don't really know how they make it orangier. So I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika, <laughs> and I'm actually gonna make a little add a little turmeric, um, just for color and for the anti-inflammatory properties as well. Turmeric. Okay, so you can see that is turning like a little. The turmeric really helps and the paprika really helps for color. So these guys are starting to thaw. They don't take very long. I'm going to leave that on high. And I'm just going to, um, I actually am going to slice it thinner because um, it'll absorb more of the sauce that way. You know, you could you could let them thaw more if you wanted to. Don't want to cut yourself. There we go. But, um, you know, if you wanted them in bigger chunks, that would be fine too. It's just that with the bigger chunks, the, uh, the lovely sauce isn't going to get right in the middle. So I'll do one big chunk, just see what it's like, and the rest of these are a little bit thinner. And um, I'm just going to coat it like this. You can see how nice that looks. And now I'm going to turn, I'm actually going to turn it off because these don't need much for cooking. So probably a low heat will be good. And this is really good, as long as you don't cut yourself, be careful, really good for your 
arm muscles keep you nice and strong. Who needs to go to the gym when you do things by hand? There we go. Okay. Actually, it's quite a bit. I'm not going to use all these because that would be just way too much. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, see, they're already starting to break down faster. And it won't take very long for this to cook. You could actually just about put that on low, add a little bit more water, and um, uh, just let it sit while you make the salad or whatever else you're going to serve it with. Okay, I'm just going to add one more. Oh yeah, you can see how these are already starting to um, slice easier. And I think that's going to be enough for this amount of sauce. So what was that? That was one, two, that three chicken fingers, I think. Okay. I'll save these for later because they're absolutely wonderful on their own or for anything. Add a little bit more water just so it doesn't start to stick and burn. And look at that. That is just lovely. Okay, so like I said, just make sure it gets good and coated. And you can find these recipes either on my YouTube channel, Georgina Sear, C-Y-R, or my website, GeorginaSear.com. Oh, look at that. Just looks lovely. Okay, so there we go. Alrighty, time to make the salad, and then you can eat. <laughs>